Hey everyone, it's jpuffflover1000 here with the Fairy Tale High Where Dreams Begin doll. I am here with Cinderella, or it says I, I'm i Teen Cinderella. This is her uh, computer animated artwork. And just to look at the box really quick for you guys, it's got a little arch like probably for the school or something. And these are actually stuck on by stickers. And it says, check out my free ebook at www.fairytalehigh.com so she doesn't come with anything else but pretty much the doll no brush no anything else so yeah pretty pretty cheap I guess um up here is just some webisode screenshots of them there's her artwork again and it says teen Cindy likes dancing till midnight shoe shoe shoes creating new moves and dance steps and hanging with BFFs at Fairy Tale High. And her favorite saying is, you won't know if you don't try. And it says, collect all your favorite dolls. It has Alice, Belle, Little Mermaid, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, Snow White, Rapunzel, and Tinkerbell. Um, if I were to get any more, I'd probably get Rapunzel just because I kind of like her dark purple makeup. Otherwise, I'm not like a big fan of really any of the other girls. Maybe I'd get... Sleeping Beauty or the Little Mermaid, but that that would probably be it for the girl. So that is just a quick look at the box. So starting with her accessories, this is all she comes with is a headphone set. Um, well, the music cord to her MP3 player, or whatever, used to hook into the hole there, but I accidentally ripped it out. So that's what it looks like. It's just a really cheap looking MP3 player. I mean, I kind of like the headphones. They're pretty cool looking. Got diamonds and stuff on them. But to the doll. Now the first thing that caught my eye about the doll was her hair. I was just kind of glancing over at him and I saw uh, Cinderella's hair and I really liked the white with that really icy blue on it. It was, I actually really like it. I think it's cute. And they pulled it down and they styled it into a little twist here. It is gelled, but nothing a little shampoo and conditioner could get out. Now, a lot of people don't like the dolls mainly because of the face on here. A lot of people say they look like those Walgreens and Family Dollar uh, Midnight Magic dolls. And I can see the resemblance there, though they are a little bit different. Uh, so she's got light, or on my camera it looks darker, but they are lighter blue lips. And then she's got dark blue eyes, some pink and silver eyeshadow. And another thing I actually liked about this doll was her sweater. I thought it was pretty cute. It's stretchy blue fabric, and then it's got... Uh, white around the collar, or the cuffs I should say, and then she's got a white collar with some golden studs. Which is very, very cute, and I do like that. And then her skirt is something else. I mean, the headsets, or the MP3 player cord was, like, sewn to the dress, so when I took out the stitching, it left holes on the skirt. It's like a pink scent material, and it's got pink tulle underneath. And then it's got a black cloth belt sewn to it with silver, I'm sorry, gold studs. And then she's got pink, or I'm sorry, peach and white striped leggings, which are attached to the skirt, which I am not a fan of. I really wish that they would have made that separate. And they go all the way down to her ankles. And then another thing I did like about her is her glass slipper shoes. Those are very, very cute. Other than the MP3 player, she just comes with a bracelet. These dolls don't come with earrings or anything else. Um, the mobility for these dolls is not the greatest as in terms of posability, uh, when you want to bend her leg, or her knee I should say, that's about as far as it go, you can't even bend it all the way back and then it leaves like this obnoxious gap there, uh, in terms, whoop, there goes the back, um, so in terms of the arm posing she can't put her hands on her hip at all this is about as far as she can go she can't put her hand on her hip she can't touch her face either which is kind of a bummer but I mean if you're not into like taking pictures or anything extra special she she'd probably be a cute doll I mean I'm glad that she is posable but at the same time kind of wish that her joints were just a little better than what they were uh, so thank you guys for watching my quick review on the Fairy Tale High Cinderella doll. Probably give her a 6 out of 10 in terms of uniqueness. I like the hair and the shoes and the sweatshirt, or her little sweater. However, I'm not a fan of the leggings uh, sewn to the skirt. 
Um, I wish she would have came at least with a brush or something else. She was $17.99 at Toys R Us. This is the only place I've ever seen them. I know some people have found them at Walmarts, but the uh, three Walmarts near me currently don't have any of them in stock, so I really wish I could have gotten one of them for cheaper. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Whoop, if she will not fall. Um, who's your favorite of the line? Uh, let me know what you guys think of this Cinderella here. So thanks again guys for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!